Lahore, a city often called the heart of Pakistan. And in this video, we're going to unravel some of its layers. And although I can probably only scratch the surface of this place, I plan to dive in deep. How? Well, how about by living with locals? Located in the Punjab region of Pakistan near the eastern border with India, Lahore has been a cultural and intellectual hub for centuries. So, I'm currently on my way to my couch surfing place. The last time I couch surfed was in my couch surfing place. Okay. Yeah, it's been like almost two years Suburban. Looks kind of fancy. I think. I think it's this one. Yeah, I think it's this one. Okay, let's see. Hello. Hello. Hey, how are you? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Got a room for myself. It's a freaking large room. Like I can't believe people are just that hospitable. Like, just people opening their homes to a complete stranger. That just that's freaking incredible. Yeah, I am pretty lucky. <sighs> <laughs> So the guy that actually is the host on couch surfing, he isn't here yet. Uh, I think some family members let me in. I think he's still at work. So I think it's a family that lives here. I, of course, like I'm a solo female traveler, so I'm not gonna stay with um, just any random guy or whatever, like, I would like to see the good in people, but of course you also have to be careful and sensible. <laughs> so I make sure to always pick a family or at least like a, like a woman or a family. And so this is a family with, I think they even have kids as well. So I am excited to meet them. When the couch surfing host arrived at home, he offered to take me on a vegetarian food tour. And of course I couldn't say no to that. Unfortunately, I didn't film too much of this evening just because I was getting to know a new person and I didn't want to be rude and just for privacy reasons in general. Anyway, I was curious to see what Lahore, a city famous for its meaty meals, could offer for vegetarians. And well, I was positively surprised with a bunch of vegetarian dishes that left my taste buds doing a happy dance. We had all kinds of local delicacies like pan and gulgapa and we came back with really, really full bellies. So, I'm in Lahore right now and it's a weekday so my couch surfing host is working. So I decided to explore the city by myself for today. <laughs> I guess 
a pretty cool way to enter. I have no idea where I'm going right now. I'm just walking basically and... Okay, that looks pretty cool. Pretty busy. Let's explore. Old Lahore, or the Walled City, is where most of the cultural sites and ancient architecture can be found. And the Lahore Fort is one of them. Sorry? I am a teacher. Yeah. Uh, and these are my students. Okay. <laughs> and all of them, hey. they are eager to talk to you. Oh, <laughs> well, hello. <laughs> Anyone of you want to make a question, please? Yeah. On what purpose uh, you are here? Uh, tourism. Just Tourism. From see. what country you are? Netherlands. Netherlands. Yeah. The land team is being beaten in World Cup, Cricket World Cup. I heard. I heard, <laughs> yes. Uh, almost all of matches they have lost. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> oh, no. It's okay. And then I returned the favor and asked him if there was anything he wanted to say to the camera. Yes, I would like to say something about Pakistan. Tell me. My decent name is Muhammad Bashir and I am a teacher here in Punjab province. We are a peaceful country. Every foreigner has respect here. Every foreigner has safety here. Uh, it's a propaganda. The world, especially the non-Muslim country, sorry to say, has a concept about us. Yeah. We are a peaceful nation yeah. and we are eager to invite all the nations, all the public, all the foreigners, visit here and enjoy the natural atmosphere of Pakistan. Thank you so much. So I'm on my way to the Bachati Mosque right now. This is, this is This place, built around 350 years ago during the Mughal times, felt like a living history book. It is one of the largest mosques in the world. It's such a beautiful place and it's filled with families, people from, from everywhere. It's um, yeah, really, really nice to see them all come together in a place like this and just enjoy the sunset and your beauty and yeah it's a very peaceful and kind of feels a little bit magical especially with the sun setting I just got some chai from the mom of the host, the host itself, he actually left for Dubai. Yeah, they're like so hospitable, they completely just trust me in their house basically and they told me to feel at home and I kind of do, so. <laughs> After chatting and enjoying the sun together for a while, it was time to return to Old Lahore, as we weren't done there just yet. So, I'm in a very busy and hectic part of town right now. I am heading towards the Delhi Gate. Stepping through the Delhi Gate, it almost felt like stepping into a time capsule with so much beauty to be found in every corner of its vibrant streets. And amidst those chaotic streets stood the Wazir Khan Mosque, 
a serene oasis in the middle of the bustling energy. The mosque is under renovation right now, and this guy, two guys actually, one painter and his apprentice, they together repainted everything that you see here and it took them almost a year like they did it all by hand just the two of them and there's like so much detail everywhere they did a beautiful beautiful job just a crazy mix of pedestrians and horses and Motorbikes, just motorbikes. It's a lot. It's a lot. That's for sure. So it is almost eleven right now, and still in my room. <laughs> I think my host family is still asleep right now, so I've just been working for like a couple hours and it's it's funny because one thing i noticed is that pakistani people like to sleep in <laughs> i think i think they are really like night people they are like up late at night like out and about eating just gathering until like in the middle of the night and then obviously they also sleep in because they need sleep but yeah, that's something very different than where I come from. <laughs> like, I go to bed at like 10 and I wake up at 6, 7 uh, most of the time. So it's a bit of a adjustment for me. <laughs> but it's, it's interesting to note those, note those differences, you know? And... At least I got a couple hours working early, early in the day, so can't complain. Okay, I think I hear some <laughs> some children that are awake, so I'm gonna check and see if there's anybody out there. <laughs> <laughs> How do I look? Good. Tissue. <laughs> Tissue. Very and good. And this is ring. And ring. And what is this? Sunglasses. Sunglasses. Your English is very good. Today it was time to see another very different part of Lahore. Because yes, this city is more than just old Lahore. It also has a very modern side, filled with fancy malls, good coffee shops and beautiful parks. Heading towards a coffee shop because first of all, I'm a coffee addict for all of you that don't know that. <laughs> Fun fact, I like in the north it was quite hard to like fine coffee so I always make sure to like carry one of those Nescafe things with me and I would just put it in my chai <laughs> I know I'm ashamed um, anyway coffee because I just love coffee I really appreciate it with coffee and also I need to get some work done some editing so yeah I found this place online and I'm just gonna see what it's like The past few days of couch surfing has really allowed me to dig deeper into Pakistani culture. From trying new foods I would have never tried, to forging connections with people I otherwise probably would have never met, to uncovering Pakistani customs different from my own. I think that this experience perfectly represents the kindness and generosity that can be found throughout Pakistan, a level of hospitality that goes beyond expectations. Lahore, to me, felt like a city of contrasts. There's the historic charm that blends in seamlessly with modernity, the busy streets that coexist with peaceful and quiet places, 
and its people, where integration of traditional and more modern Pakistani lifestyles creates a vibrant mix of diversity. Lahore is a city of hidden gems waiting to be discovered, revealing its multi-layered beauty to those who are willing to explore beyond the surface. Hi, I have a lot of luggage. I just keep buying stuff because everything's so pretty here, like the clothes and stuff, but I keep forgetting I'm a hand luggage only backpacker somehow. I, I need to work on that. Hi, how are you? Photo, photo? Yeah, sure. Thanks. No worries. Please take a I still get very uncomfortable when people want to make pictures with me because I feel like, like, why do they want pictures with me? Probably because they don't see a lot of foreigners here. But for me, it's it's a little bit weird. Like, they want to make a picture with me because I'm a foreigner. Like. <laughs> It's, um, yeah, it, I, I can't help but feel a little bit weird. 